Ja. Jo. Why? I'm dead. I thought that was you. I thought you were up here still. Oh, I'm up. Oh, no! You did not just die. What's up, everyone? Spy and Pixels here. Welcome to our new duo hardcore playthrough of Seven Days to Die. We're excited to dive into the ultimate survival challenge on Nightmare and Insane Settings, meaning the zombies are faster and more relentless than ever. With the long-awaited release of Seven Di Days to Die 1.0, we're just getting started on making content for this incredible game. And we're kicking it off with hardcore mode, which means if either one of us dies even once, it's game over, and we have to restart from scratch. As you can see from the previous clips, this is not our first run. This is not our first attempt. It is not easy. So take this challenge with a grain of salt and know that there's going to be a lot of mistakes along the way. The stakes couldn't be higher and every decision counts. So join us as we fight for survival, strategize against the undead, and see how long we can last in this brutal world. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to follow our, us on our intern's journey. Thanks so much and enjoy the video. So we've set some special rules to make our duo hardcore seven days of die playthrough even more challenging. First off, no abusing the trainer. We have limited ourselves to just one quest per day, meaning we cannot just abuse quests over and over to get all the rewards. And also, we are not allowing ourselves to take ammo as a reward. Um, this just pretty much keeps the pressure on and makes resources even more precious. Second, we, Draz, have banned sledgehammers. We, Draz, believe that they're just too overpowered and we love the thrill of just not doing any damage. <laughs> Um, anyways, these rules are all about upping the difficulty and making our survival adventure even more exciting. Feel free to take from any of these rules into your own challenge, and let's just see how long we can last. Can't wait to find these in here. Let's get them on the team. Uh, we do share experience, so we have a 10k basically radius for sharing experience. It just gives you a small advantage and keeps you similar level. Like, don't freaking hate on it. It's it's fine. Uh, it's just so I don't get out level, you know, yeah. out level because I he, he spends half the day without me in the server. It <laughs> takes so long to load. <laughs> it is eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Oh, I see our first foe that I'm going to dodge. Don't want none of that XP right now. You don't want none of that. Hey, we're gonna have the same trader though. By the way, we spawned. Let's be spawned close. Love to hear that. My stones. I literally can't find one. There we go. <laughs> My stones! <laughs> That's a sandwich. That's some bones. I'm just gonna let you take this. the, uh... The, uh... Actually, I'll just lose the shit. I'll find you your workbooks. There's one. There's two. There's three. You're welcome. I'm insane. So. Uh... That's three work station books. Forge the, for head. the Forge Ahead books, guys, are essential to the game. Draz is going to be an intellect guy. He's a smart guy. So he's going to be doing all the uh, intellect things. So he's going to be the base, well, part of the base builder. Draz, do you want to do the Horde Basis game? Um. Hmm. You don't have to, but... Yeah, I think it's fine the way we've been doing it, because okay. we haven't actually, you know, gotten to, uh... uh yeah, so this is, uh, not our first run. We have, uh, attempted this yeah. several times. I will, uh, throw a little recap of our deaths, because we are doing, like I said, we are doing the permadeath series, so... One death equals a restart. And, uh, let's roll that clip now. <laughs> <laughs> There's a blood moon coming. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Been tough. So we are just finding gear galore. And this trader was really far away. Six hundred for you. Yeah.
I'm gonna grab a job. I am grabbing my job. 304 East I've got a job at Sparks Place. I'm waiting. East to Sparks. I'm gonna be just selling some stuff. We're gonna sell pretty much everything we possibly can for the early game because we don't need anything outside of like scrap polymers and mechanical parts. Because being overweight sucks balls. Yeah, it's not great. We hear a boy place, coming. Right? Yeah. Good. You smell of the dead. I have a little assignment. Okay, we have a deal. Come back when it's done. Three, four, five. This locks your stuff in place. Um, I got a cooking grill already, brother. I just had enough stuff to sell to get a cooking gorilla ski. Pretty. That's a good start. Pretty epic. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any nails for sale. I think it does. Alright, uh, I'm three over. I'm gonna give you some stiff. Good. And then I'll just give you. And then here's your books. You what? Huh? Alright, my boy. Let's go find us a house! I'm gonna go this Ooh. way. Alright, city south. Or north. So we want something somewhat close to the trader with an upper floor that's not too big. Because we will be building our horde base connected to our house, but it's not going to be inside it. We got a tango. We got a tango. He's going for you. That's weird. It wouldn't let me build a box. Oh my. Oh. I got him. I stunned him. I need to build my boxes. Dude, this guy's fucking does damage. <laughs> Nothing to see here, guys. This is a riveting gameplay. <laughs> just my boy standing over there. Just. <laughs> I was upgrading your thing. No, I just I think it's funny that the zombie just kept uh, attacking. Like it's just this game in general uh, is just funny. I think this might be a feral. I think so too, because he was doing damn. Uh, stand right here by me, real quick. Look me in the face. Why am I taller than you? I don't know. You weren't. You weren't before. <laughs> you didn't used to be. All right. So one of these houses. Let's see. Anything that's looking sparking your fancy? What about this place? Oh. This little trailer park. Probably trash, right? You make it work. I think the issue with trailer parks is they're hard to break. You have to break down a lot of stuff in them to build. I think that guy was a feral, by the way. Yeah. Because he was like retapping the box. Oh my nice god, hit. so fucking weak. <laughs> um. Yeah, well, there we go. What about this little, little spot over here? Oh, that's literally the house. One of the houses. Yeah, we could just live in this garage. Just spice it up. There's a zombie. Uh. What? <laughs> We're pressing it open. Don't play loose. Don't play loose. How did he hit me through the door? Matt clipped you on your way out. Alright, I'll heal that health back all the time. Yeah, you will. We're gonna get you some food soon. Alright, this isn't big enough. <laughs> yeah, and we kinda need to a second story, right? 
not necessarily. I think, uh, look at this little cool little house. That's got a slanted roof, though. I got caught on me about the ambulance. Okay, you good? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Oh. Just know that I won't be by you for a bit. Right. There's two of them. I would like a stamper turn. A stamper turn. A stamper turn. I would like a man with a stamper turn. Just picking our home, man. I think. <laughs> Just pick one, dude. I got it, man. We're going. We're living at Kostecki's residence. I don't know who that is. Exactly. I've never seen this house before. Wow. I know this place. I know this place all too well. Is that good or bad thing? It's a bad thing. We died here once. We also lived there once, so we have switching it up. Switch it up. I'm gonna need you to just pick a place, alright? No, it's not that easy, man. It really is. There's a lot of buildings around here. It's got to be perfect. Okay, that was it. One, two, five. Good. Yeah, it's, the, it's the tree house. <laughs> Is this the house? Oh, you're right over there. Yeah. I found it, brother. Found it? What? This is home? This is home. No way. It's not home. Why? We lived here before. Literally, this is our horde base right here. This bathroom. Oh my. Yeah, I do remember. You know that? Yeah. Ryan! Alright, I'm gonna let you handle these. I'm gonna go find one. I'm trying. I you gotta. I tried at least. You know? Like, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. It's not that easy. This is an every game thing, so Draz is getting frustrated with me. Yeah, well, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just playing the game. He just gets it. flustered. You know what, screw it, this one. We're going back to this place. We're going to make this one work. This, the Schweizer residence is home. Have we been here? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't recognize mm -hmm. it. And we'll build like that, this little chute over here. We'll build our horde base over there. So, welcome home, guys. Welcome home to the Schweitzer residence. <laughs> we live for the Schweitzer residence. Oh, that's. Oh, my. There's a behind, 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 behind. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. Oh! oh. <laughs> Fatality. I got a book. What are you out of that bag? That lucky ducky bookie there for you. Ooh, I love those books. The Schweizer residence, man. Pretty sweet, right? It's nice. A couple, two, two right here. Get ready to run. Oh, 
run, 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 run. Nice. Get that down. Cause you the man. Grass is the man with the plan. So right now we're just picking our house, as you can see. This is uh the homeland. Gonna pick the house, clear it out. Clear it out, and then we're gonna try and get a quest done today. So like I was saying before, we only allow ourselves to do one quest a day. Um, that being because the rewards are pretty, just pretty OP. Like they're just, they're busted. Somebody, I hear somebody. Hey, it's funny. I'll be in the kitchen. Find me some cooking books. That's one cooking book. Was he said earlier? What you don't want to kid me, zombies? That's not getting out of your way, man. Yeah. I'll let you loot that area. Okay. okay. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. He's just always memeing me. Yeah, I'm gonna answer. Upstairs or downstairs first? Uh, probably up, because we're gonna build up. Probably. Right. I support it. Oh, in the bathroom to the left. Okay, I'm gonna build right here. Right, there's one right here too, inside here. There's a lock safe in here, and I happen to have a lock pick. I have now have four lock picks. The most in oh, it's a broken lock. Bastards! This bastards! We got some homies breaking in. Yeah. yeah. This is a pretty sweet upstairs, actually. Yeah, this is nice. Wait, did I just pick a house that I'm excited about? For the first time ever. Oh, we got a couple over here. Oh my. We got issues. We got issues. Breaking it downstairs too, right? Yeah, I got the stairs covered. One down, we the little guys first. I'm out of Sam. What happened to both of them not? I'm watching. They're, they're beating that basement in. <laughs> As you guys can see, this uh, difficulty, it doesn't allow you to kill zombies at all, so. Yeah, it takes a little while. <laughs> nice hit. Knock him down. Uh. He's gotta be almost dead, right? You would think. Oh, okay. I'm out of now. Stigma. Dude, I have been 
beating and greeting this guy for an hour. I'm gonna leave oh. it. Oh, fuck, fuck. Get outside, get outside. A stunner, a stunner. I'll play spot. Fuck, I can't. Jump. Jump across, jump across. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Oh my god. All right, a little close. What do you say? Yeah, I'm just upstairs. There's another right. one that I can't really come in the house. So. Yeah, you're good. You're good. I'm just I like the ones that are upstairs. freaking super overweight. This is like. <laughs> Do you have a bandage? Yeah, I, I use it already. Okay. Do I got any points? I got one point available. We're gonna go. Well, they both got stuck on the boxes I made. I'm gonna put a point into pain tolerance. Twenty percent less chance of. Getting stunned and 5% less HP loss. How's it going up there? It's a little iffy. Did me come up? Uh, it's not necessarily safe. Unless you can sneak up here and then build a. You know, something to stand on. All I can do is hit their legs right now. Hey, Doc. Oh, <laughs> Dude, <laughs> bop in the head while she's down. Nice. An easy run. That was close. That was a close call. Leather trunk. Level three bow, red remover. Cowboy hat. Cool. Or not red remover, it's a cripple nod. Ooh, you put that on a club, dude. No, you can't. No. At least not the one we have. It's for, uh, For a gun, I think. So that. Got a book for you. Hmm. This, this is, uh, this is home. This is home, man. I dig it. I don't think we'll have time to do two quests, to be honest. Nah, I'll probably just wait. Yeah. We'll start him tomorrow. Uh, okay, clear the base. Clear out the area a bit. Oh yeah, true. We should do that before it gets nighttime. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to go. Here's a book for you too. I'm gonna dump everything in here. I'd like to sell. Um. Some shit. Yeah, I, I have a bunch of books to sell as well. <laughs> what, are you, what, are you, what are you doing there, Doc? I was putting shit away. I have a literal full inventory. Why don't you just hit the move overall? Uh, I didn't think about it. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, that's all I got. <laughs> Do you want the stuff to sell and I'll start clearing the basement? Uh, and... yeah, sure. I would okay. like to try and get the cooking pot, you know? Yeah. They're all books. Cut. Nice. That should get us there, right? Um, I mean, yeah, it's at least like 700 worth, right? 
for 600. Mm. Nice cooking book. The one thing you didn't loot in the kitchen was a oh. cooking book. Oh, good thing you double checked. Gotta double check. All right, all right. I'm heading there to the trade up. It's nice. The trader's nice and close to home. Nice and close. Holy. Hmm. I just got a hunting knife. Oh my gosh. Looks like you're the hunter now. Dude, I'm using that as a weapon. Yeah, you're gonna have to get all the meat because you get you get extra meat with that. And it's pretty sick, nasty. Are you the hunter this game? Uh no. Huh? <laughs> what? You the hunter? Whoever has a hunting knife gets to hunt. Hey, hey, don't don't come in here unzipped. So don't you dare. Twenty percent bartering. Okay, so that would put the cooking pot down one twenty to four eighty. Right, Are we done do here? That's enough chit chat for me today. Drink that. Buy that cooking pot. We're gonna fill that. that. Oh my god! I should. I'm an idiot. I'm just a dumb dumb. Uh, I sold everything before I drank my bartering thing that I literally bought and found. Just not the smartest bug out there, you know? Yeah, that's alright. Did the hunting well, it's leads? about time you bought something. Oh. That is lovely. What is this? Salvage tool. Uh, I just read the salvage tool book. Okay. It's all be tools and weapons. You can be meds. Yep, yeah, sure. I don't really care about armor. Like we find, we find all that stuff anyways. Yeah, but you know, just yeah, in case. might as well keep it keep it consistent. Uh, and then Drazzy is gonna be going. Like I said, the base stuff. So crafting. I did. Right, we're gonna get that in there. We'll get that in there. Put this up there. Get some light. This bitch just not here. Boom. boom. Taters going, get some water going. Let me get some grilled corn going. Dude, that thing sounds sweet. It looks fucking sick. Do you have to buy any food? Uh, I'm cooking some food. We didn't have money for to buy food, but buy some water. It's always nice. Got looted down there? Yep. Oh, there. Oh, good. Yep. I'm going to have to make a shovel. There's a lot of stuff down here. Need the shovel. Make a. Gotta get them. Get them. Gotta get them. Alright. Get a little bit of wood here. Gotta get them. Get Oh my god, you can't scare me like that. Just uh, get in the lay of the land, you know? That's not, not bad down here, huh? Yeah, not too bad. 
You anything good? Uh, just a knife, really. Just some basic materials here. So I'm gonna be cutting out the stage because we're gonna be living on the second floor. That's home. So I'm just knocking out these stairs. Uh, so pretty essential to like raise your house above the ground. As you can see, what we're doing here is we're basically trying to create a safe haven or a safe floor where the zombies can't get to us easily without breaking under basically the foundation underneath. Um, it's pretty essential, especially on this difficulty. Like, would love to live in a basement or on the ground floor or something like that, but it's just not possible. So, doing things like that just to help you survive. So, pretty much now what we're doing is just uh, cleaning up the upstairs. We like to make it look a little bit pretty. I'm kind of messing around with this lamp here, thinking I'm going to keep it. I get rid of it later on. But uh, checking the attic for any spookies, and we're going to patch up that ceiling. Uh, otherwise, yeah, we're just pretty much kind of going through the the base making it look as pretty as possible uh get things functional get things cooking get some food and water going the best we can you know i am the chef boy rd but i don't really have much to work with there so you know it is what it is but uh yeah now we're just kind of you know getting rid of our tv and table stand and all the goodies up there we're gonna make room for a smith workshop workstation some water filters we're gonna eventually open up the deck for hopefully some farming or other things along the way we'll see uh we're also kind of gearing up for 1.0 release so i don't actually know how long this series will go it'll pretty much go until you know we get to 1.0 uh but that's that's for the future so just uh, hope you enjoyed and uh yeah we're making a living here all right, we're gonna end the episode there. We're gonna be just uh, mining some stuff in the middle of the night, working on the house a little bit. We'll give you an update in the morning, um, well, on episode two. But thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.